I see that. I see what you're saying. I, I get it. I like that question. And uh, if everybody didn't hear it, because I know Charles went kind of low there, and that is the idea is, is that uh, do the worldwide educators, are they taking on more than they can handle? In other words, the old saying is, is that are you trying to bite more than you can chew? Are your eyes bigger than your stomach? Whatever. That's the old saying. And so that's what you're saying, right, Charles? Right. Yeah. And I like that. Thank you. I love your questions. Yes, they're a real challenge. Uh, and they do ignite things, and guess what? I already get the answers before you ask the question. I already got the answers because it's all it's all done. And that is is that yes, uh, that's the affirmative. Yes, Roger, ten four. The thing being is is that yes, in the true sense, but in the physical means, okay, it becomes another matter. In reality, just like Kelsey's experiences, and it didn't take long after we decided the university did it, Kelsey, to where you saw it completed, the boy showed you and told you it was completed on the real side, right? Yeah, so, see, it's already done. And no, because it's all about deciding. But in the physical sense, that's the toughie. See, this is the testing yard of the brave and the bold is here. This is the testing ground. And that is, is that will you step up and do it or will you just keep doing your personal life? See, this is the test for everybody. And just like Darwin and Harold, just like many, they were given the opportunity. And guess what? They failed miserably. And so they'll be back many, many times. And they'll probably never get out of creation. I don't know. I'm not concerned. It's their choice. I saw Darwin on the real side before I took the real position. And there is a string of individuals to my right as I walked back from the real universes into uh, the tunnel that goes uh, into the deep, dark border and beyond into creation. And when I came to Darwin, he hung his head down like he was ashamed and at that time that was the definition and he was very ashamed he hung his head down he didn't say anything and so uh, there was lines of individuals there and I said I'm the master now but that's an old reference but the thing is is that he had his chance he did with what he did but he decided it was all about him and so you're in this world like everybody else. Is it all about you? Well, have fun because that's all you'll get. You'll get what you've decided. Me, it's about everybody. And I take the risk. Yeah. And I constantly take the risk. It's not about me. I don't want anything. I love doing this. This is the love affair that I have. Because I recognize this isness. And so I have created my life here and focused it to this point to where I'm at now. This is where I wanted to get. It's taken me a long time to sort all these things out in my personal life to get to this point to where I am now. And it's getting better and better and better. And all I need is a few agreements with others. Uh, to help support it and I have that and I can see where I can just deal with a couple of people and we can do anything I can do it by myself but you know what I'd rather do it for everyone and so yes in the physical sense it looks like that and realistically when you say that let's do a comparison here let's look at us and let's look at the big world so to speak all the so-called big boys out there, you know, the, the feds, uh, the corporations, the governments. Oh, yeah, they're big. They're scary. They have bombs. They have military. They have all this stuff, don't they? Yeah, they, they own the world. They direct everything. They make the rules and regulations, etc. Oh, yeah, they're really big time. And who are we? We're just like the little, mi little, little mice here. Yes, but it's really all about awareness. 
you know what it is? It's not what you have. It's what you can do. And we're doing it. And they're not. That becomes the difference. And the end result is, is that they'll all be where they've decided to be, and that's nowhere. That's the difference. So again, yes, we have bit off more than we can chew, but it's not about chewing, because we're not here to chew the world. But we can decide whatever we want, and I've decided to do everything, and I can do whatever I want, and I'm doing it, and they're not. And the end result will be is they will be the effect of themselves. And for myself and others that are real and can step up and have the courage to do so, there will be no effects. There will be no restrictions. There will be no karma, etc. You know, the, the member shrimps think that we're creating karma by the very fact of uh, warning them about what uh, Joni is doing and everybody else. But it's really they are creating the karma because of their agreement with all their tap lining. Yes. And by the very fact that they don't like us around and we're doing our warning, well, they are the ones on the real side when it comes to be to attacking and fighting. They are doing it. They are actually destroying others and other groups. It's not us. We're not attacking anybody. They're doing all the attacking. So, yes. But it's a decision. Yes, we have... Uh, we have taken on more than we can handle. But realistically, what's so cool about what's decided and those few that I, that I work closely with, that I, that I stand real, I don't like to use the word work, but stand real with, is, is that you know because we've decided to do something wonderful, because we've decided the bigger picture than the world can even see or consider with all their little creations and all their destruction, is that the boys come up and they do it for us. They complete it. And just like Kelsey has seen, they've already completed it, Charles. So we already have it done because it's recognition. It's not a physical thing so, so much to be so. But if we can bring it here in this hostile environment, well, that's a plus. But realistically, Hey, people are going to a, to the universities and the homeschools and have the vessel. They're already doing it on the real side. It's time to recognize what's really taking place more so than what we think is going on. See the bigger picture. And so you have the challenge there. You have the challenge with yourself, and you have the challenge with what's going on in this world. Will you take on the challenge? Will you see things differently than you ever have before? Will you take that risk or will you just keep agreeing with what you've always known? And the end result will be is that's all you'll know. And you'll just sit there and wait for experiences. I don't wait for anything. I decide. I do, 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 do. That's why my name is Dwayne. D-U, do. I just do it. And so... That's the reality of this world, because if you don't, then you don't. And most people won't, because they're afraid. This world is based upon fear. It's totally based upon fear, but people don't want to admit to that. And until you face that, until you see it, then you're held by it. And these are the people that don't know what to do with their lives because they're afraid. That's ridiculous. But that's what it is, because you have cause and effect here. So, of course, there's fear here. Yes, we have an alarm system. We have a nervous system. We have different reactions, etc. This is a scary environment. The whole of life is scary to the personal self. To the real you, no, it's not. But that's a, that's a pure recognition. But you have to wake up to that. Even though the droplets of water that make up the ocean are there, those droplets do not recognize the ocean that it's in. That becomes the difference. It is that recognition. You see? So it's awesome how life is. I just look at even creation. It's all awesome. Everything is awesome. But we don't want to fool ourselves at the same time. What is the central reality of everything? 
and that is recognizing the isness that life is. And it's with nothing that you consider here, but at the same time, while you're in creation, what do you do while you're in creation? Well, again, you're lucky to know. I'm demonstrating it right in front of everybody, but they still don't get it. Well, again, just like when Paul was here, he hinted at certain things, even the simplest things. People thought just because they have experience here and so-called real side, they get it. They didn't get it. They had experience. Darwin Harrell had a lot of experience, but they still didn't get it. You see the end result of their choices and what they've demonstrated and where they ended up. They didn't get it. Yeah. So what is it? What are we to see? Well, that part you got to figure out. Yeah. So again, I'm taking people a step at a time with a new presentation, and what I'm doing is what is taking place now. I'll, I'll just continually to say it till people are really bored with it, and those are the ones that will never see it. They will just go back to creation, and many people have come to this, and what do they do? They go back to the corporation, they go back to religion, it's like, and they already know about tap lining and everything and voodoo you, but they still go back to it. It's like, okay, after millions of lifetimes, you still can't figure it out, so you made the choice. Gee, I see what we're doing is wonderful. It makes sense. And those few people that I know that see it, boy, I am just so elated and I am so grateful that I know them. Because it's being to being with us. Yes. They don't need to be asked what to do. They know what to do. Just like the birds that fly around. They step up. They know what to do now. Kelsey knows what to do. Kelsey is a great example. Yeah and Ava, and Chris, whatever. They know what to do. Has some, you know, Sam. They know what to do. So that's being to being. And it gets better and better and better. It gets better. Less restriction to where there will be absolutely no restriction. And that's the bigger step that I want to create is a universal community. And it's going to be in the right spot on this earth. You know, we're going to bring it here. Yes, but most people won't see it, and most people won't be part of it, because you got to be invited, and you got to prove yourself 100%. Yeah, but it's coming, but it's actually already here. You just don't see it yet. So there's even more than what I'm presenting now, but that's just a whole lot. But again, you got to earn your way. So... Every, you know, this world is so fortunate that we are here, even though it doesn't want us here. But yes, we've taken on a lot. I've decided a lot. I have. But I'm a risk taker. So I just decided to decide everything. That's how it is. Not just the books. Not just the new you. You know, that's pretty easy. You know what? I like the challenge. Just like James Bond. You know, why does he do that? You know what? He comes across the money and the girls and whatever. Thing. He doesn't care about that. He loves the adventure. He loves the risk because the risk equals the reality of himself. That's what it does. The whole of life is a risk-taking position. Yes, is what it is. Life loves the risk-taker. really does. That's your real love affair. Not anything you have here, not anything you chase not anything you think you have. The more you have, the less you have. I'm trying to get the funding. I don't care about the money. We'll, get, we'll surpass that. That's just a process. It's a means of exchange. That's all it is. It's something, duh, that we have to do for a while. That's all. It's really boring. I've had a lot of money. It means nothing. What means something to me is the reality when I see somebody wake up just in the smallest way to realize, oh, wow, this makes sense what you're saying, Dwayne. And, you know, I'm interested. I want to go further. And to see people succeed with it, actually succeed. Because you know how many people I've seen fail and quit? Just about everybody. Just about everybody. And even all those people I taught in 2001, they all split. I haven't seen them since. Yeah. And I taught them for 20 years. Where are they now? I see them on the real side. They're not doing very good. They're struggling. They have no idea what's going on because they think I'm the bad guy. That's fine. I can't change their minds. 
they have to decide to see it. So this is where I uh, promote Rebazar because a lot of people know about Rebazar. And because I love Rebazar, I respect him. I, you know, I stand real with the boys. And so Rebazar is the head guy. He takes, he's the head bean. He takes care of the real side on this. And with the Vessel Project, I do it here. And so I refer to him because a lot of people know about him. It's like, okay, you don't have to listen to me. Just go ask Rebazar. You know, you, you have, you create that relationship with him or don't, whatever. That's my reference. And so I'm on my adventure too. But yes, we've taken on more than we can uh, really handle. And Kelsey knows this because it's nonstop and we're wore out. I'm wore out every day, but I'm fine with it. I really don't care. It's fine. And uh, I don't see any end to it. And I don't see to where I'll, uh, you know, it's always like I always see it as I never do enough because there's always more. That's how it is. It's like a woman with her, it's like a mother with her children. You know, she it's 24 hours a day with those children and it's fine. She's wore out, but you know what? She wouldn't have it any other way. And that's how it is. It's a love affair. So, yes, we've taken everything on. But it's great. And uh, it sure is a lot better than having to get up every day and just consider this old, dying, boring world. And maybe turning on the TV and watching Good, Good Morning America and getting your little thrill from that. Which all equals nothing but brainwashing. But some people got to do it, so go do it and have your donuts and coffee, whatever. That's their thrill. But no, I'd rather do this. So, yes. Yes, but I want to. I very much appreciate you, Charles, and what you're doing there because it's part of the adventure. I see that, uh, and I like being part of this. I want to be part of Africa. This is where we're shown to go. Whatever I pay attention. So it's not about what I want. It's about what's taking place and the bigger adventure. So there's always something more that's going to happen, and I always like to see. Okay, what's next? You know. And so Rebusar and the boys, they line this up because they're getting it from the is too, and then they pass it on down to us is what they do. And so those that are paying attention, lucky them, but most people will just go their own personal life. They won't pay attention, just like the members of the corporation. I was there. I knew a lot of people. I knew a lot of higher initiates here in Southern California. They all know me. I was a seventh initiate in 1990. Uh, 1990. I uh, was an initiator, etc. I was very well known. Think any of these people have called me up or talked to me here? None of them. None. They're all afraid. They think I'm the crazy guy. Yeah, they don't see it. And this is where it is, too, that very few people will see this. Yeah, they just don't have the courage to see it because their personal life is just too important. So that's why I take it on because you know what? I just don't want to be ordinary anymore. I like being indifferent, I like taking the risk, and I like seeing what else there is, and I want to see, uh, I want to meet that next wonderful person that's going to step up and be real, and they're out there, and they're coming. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for asking, Charles. <laughs>